Unit 4B, Calculating Measures of Variability, Standard Deviation, Variance, and Range from a Frequency Distribution. Here's an example of a frequency distribution. The range is the first measure of variability. And the range is the highest score minus the lowest score. 20 minus 1 is 19. So 19 would be a measure of variability, and it's the range. To calculate the other two measures, the standard deviation and the variance, we're going to have to calculate the mean of the distribution first. And if you recall from a frequency distribution, if we're doing it by hand, we would multiply the x column by the f column and get 11, 2 times 9, 18, 17 times 1, 17, 20 times 1, 20. We do not sum the x column in a frequency distribution. The sum of the frequencies is 22. That's the sample size. And the sum of the x, f column would be uh, 66. Here is the chart we just produced. And to get the sample mean, we would take the sum of the xf column, 66, and divide it by the sum of the frequencies, or n, 22, and 3 would be the sample mean. Once we have the sample mean, we are ready to calculate the variance. Now for a population, this is the formula we use. Sigma squared is the symbol for the population variance. It's the sum of the square deviations multiplied by the frequencies divided by the population size, uppercase n. Most of the time we're dealing with samples, as we are in this case. And we use this formula, which says the sample variance S squared is equal to the sum of the square deviations times F, and this time divided by N minus 1, one less than the sample size. Because this formula requires us to use deviations, we're going to have to include a deviation column. We also will have to square the deviation, so we'll need a square deviation column. And finally, we'll have to multiply this quantity by f, so we'll need a deviation squared times f column. Let's fill in these columns. Uh, the mean was 3, so the deviation column is score minus the mean, or score minus 3. So 1 minus 3 would be negative 2. 2 minus 3, negative 1. 17 minus 3 positive 14, and 20 minus 3 would be 17. We do not sum the deviation column. Now we square the deviations. Negative 2 squared. Negative 2 squared is positive 4, like signs positive. We never have a negative in the deviation squared column. Negative 1 squared, 1. 14 squared, 196. And 17 squared, 289. We do not sum the deviation squared column. 
the next step requires us to multiply the deviation squared times f this column and this column so this uh, gets a little bit confusing we're going to multiply these two columns together so 11 times 4 44 9 times 1 9 1 times 196 196 and 1 times 289 289 if we sum this last column we're going to get 538 All right, here's the table we just produced. Now we're going to substitute numbers into the formula for the sample variance. On top, we need the sum of the square deviations times f, which is 538. And on the bottom, we need n minus 1. Well, n is 22, so n minus 1 would be 21. If we divide these, we get 25.619 and so on, which is approximately, let's call that 25.62, and that would be our sample variance. Now we want to calculate the standard deviation. For a sample, the standard deviation is the sum of the square deviations divided by n minus 1. But if we have a frequency distribution, we need an f in this formula. And in any case, this says the square root of this number underneath the radical is the variance, s squared. So if we want to calculate the sample standard deviation, all we need to do is get the square root of the variance. And we calculated the variance to be 25.62. If we take the square root of that, we're going to get roughly 5.06. That would be our sample standard deviation. In summary, we had the range to be 19, the sample variance 25.62, and the sample standard deviation 5.06. There is a rule of thumb which says that the standard deviation is approximately a quarter of the range. Now this uh, is only approximate. Uh, let's see what happens in this case. The standard deviation was about 5. Is that one quarter of the range? The range was 19. Well, 5. Uh, one quarter of 19 is 4.75. So the rule of thumb seems to uh, verify our measures of variability. We can use the TI-84 to find standard deviation. Clear your lists first by pressing second memory number four. Then go to stat, edit, and put in the X's in the L1 column and put in the frequencies into L2. After you put that in, press stat calculate number one, which is one variable statistics. Then press enter. On older calculators, you'll have to type in L1 comma L2. On newer ones, you'll have a menu like this. And where it says list, you put in L1. That's where you put the X's. Where it says 
frequency lists, you'll put in L2. That's where the frequencies were. Navigate down to calculate, press enter, and you'll see the sample standard deviation, which the TI calls SX, we call S, is 5.06, the same answer we got by hand. By the way, this number, 4.94, which the TI calls sigma x, we call that sigma. That's the population standard deviation. So if you were dealing with a population, that's the number you'd be using. End of unit 4b. See unit 4c for a discussion of Chebyshev's theorem.